talk about modding for damage, more specifically the steel path. I think it's too much for one video. I'm gonna try to sum it up and do my best. If I miss something, leave it in the comments below. When we're modding for steel path, we wanna go as min-max as possible. So you need to think on the, the way to modding for different stances. I'm not gonna go into the 100% as some people do. That is really the, the most detailed and min-max as it can possibly be. I'll leave some links in the description. So let's go. Ideally you wanna think on modding on different stances or different multipliers as you prefer. You're gonna have your base damage, your multi-shot, your critical chance, your elementals, your bane, and potentially your condition overload. And possibly the best way to build around these is to kind of even them. You don't want to focus too much on one thing, because if you do, you're going to be missing out some damage. So in some cases, not a lot, but in other cases, it's really a lot. Base damage we usually get from our our canes. Since we're dealing with the Kuva Chakur, a weapon with increased headshot damage, we're gonna be getting primary deadhead, which is gonna allow us to deal even more damage with our headshots. And really, now we gotta think of our, our multi shots. See, we have our galvanized chamber, split chamber, ideally, galvanized chamber. We're gonna be dealing, the element of choice is gonna be slash, which the Kuva Chakur has guaranteed the impact procs, which will allow us to work with internal bleeding very well getting our slash procs from here. Let's think about our increase our damage even more with our Bane, which double dips the damage with the dots. So that's gonna be slash, toxin, electricity, heat, all those things will be, will double dip the Bane. So it's a great damage increase. Our weapon has great stats toward critical, so we're gonna put our critical chance and critical damage. We can go with either point strike or critical delay. And for crit damage, we have vital sense, there is hammer shot, and all that stuff. And the way we mod for steel path is we usually focus on one element. So we, you could even put viral in here since this weapon is so strong. You would kill if you would put your viral here, which was the, the way people usually built for the normal star chart or back in the day. Well, that's not the, the most optimized way to build. I've said about the condition overload, and in this case is our galvanized at aptitude, which works like a condition overload, but for a primary, for your secondary is galvanized shot, and that is something that you kind of almost want in but it really depends on if your weapon is dealing multiplicative multiplicative damage or additive damage and of course there is the as i said it's too much stuff to for one video this if you want status chance or not there is a bunch of uh, variables included and the way to check if your damage is dealing multiplicative or additive damage there's a video from gamble there's also a chart that i'm not really sure who belongs to but i'll leave it in the description for you to take a look and so now we also have pretty much have some free slots for to put whatever we want to further increase our damage since we're going to be dealing headshots and aiming for that we could use bladed rounds or you can use your galvanized scope to make it even better for your for your critical. And the last slot is again optional. Let's build this for single target. So I'm just gonna put in a vigilante armament. So this will deal a massive amount of damage to corrupted, which is what we have here. Let's take a few shots and take a look how it's gonna be. One shot, one shot, one shot, and it gets even better as we stack our galvanized chamber and our galvanized aptitude. And keep in mind that we're, as I said, we focus on one element because we actually use, usually have a, a good primer to increase our damage. And it gets pretty crazy. You could see that I was not triggering Arcane or the 
primary deadhead because I wasn't killing with direct damage or either a electricity or gas block. But now that we have it stacked, we're gonna be dealing a tremendous amount of damage. And still a little bit of a toxin because of the progenitor. But yeah, damage is just crazy. I also have an arcane increasing the damage. If they're primed, they're probably not even gonna tank it. This is pretty much how we we mod more for the, the steel path. I don't think this was an amazing job of a video, but it really I'm not an expert on explaining this stuff. It's kind of a, a concept and it just you, after you kind of learn it, you just start making stuff that works. I hope this gives you an idea of how to build. Of course, each weapon in this game is different and you're gonna mod it on a different way. But keep in mind those different stances or multipliers for damage. And then you'll just keep learning more and more. I think this is able to was able to give you kind of a pace of what to do for your builds. There is always your excellent slots that you can slot something to, to make it even better. You could put Vigilante Supplies, which would give you a 10% uh, chance of getting some more crits and also convert some uh, ammo, which I don't really think the Chakur needs because it deals so much damage. You're probably not gonna have any trouble with ammo. So let me know what you think about the, what do you think about this explanation? Did I miss something? Please leave it in the comments below. I'll make sure to pin it and to Address it, make sure every, everyone sees it. And thank you very much for watching. Leave it a like and consider subscribing.